Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you would set up automation on the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus system. Uh, you can always set up automation on the system anytime you want to. Um, the normal process of doing so is just putting the system into an inclusion mode and then adding the Z-Wave device into the system and you can set it up to where you can control it either locally in the panel itself um, or you can control it remotely through Alarm.com. Now later in this video we are going to be covering the steps on how to enroll the Z-Wave devices um, into the Qualsys panel but just wanted to recap real quick about the uh, or about Alarm.com. Um, if you did want to use that then uh, you do have to make sure that you have a good cellular connection in your area. Uh, the reason why is because the Qualsys panel has a built-in cellular communicator and uh, in order to be able to use Alarm.com uh, you do have to have a good cellular connection with the system um, because Alarm.com requires their alarm systems to use a cellular communicator. Um, so to be set up with that, you do have to be uh, with a monitoring service, and then they can um, set everything up to be able to use Alarm.com. Now, if you wanted to set up um, an automation device on the Qualsys panel, um, there's a couple of steps to do so. Uh, first, you're going to have to exclude the device um, from the system or in general in order to make sure that it does have or will have a good connection uh, with the system and then the next step is doing the inclusion process and um, you know, making sure everything is working correctly so in order to start the first step is to do the ex exclusion as I explained so what you'll do is on the main screen is you'll tap the gray bar at the top and then you're gonna get the drop down so you're gonna tap settings you're gonna go to advanced settings it's gonna ask you for a code so you're gonna either use the dealer code or the installer code. Now the installer code uh, for the system, the default one is 2222. And then you're going to go to installation. You're going to go to devices. You're going to go to zero devices. And this is going to take you to the menu where you want to set up the automation um, or set up the zero devices. So to exclude a device, uh, you'll just tap clear device and it's going to put the Qualsys into the exclusion process. Now, <clears throat> now when you are setting up different Z-Wave devices, um, some, a lot of Z-Wave devices have their own way of being excluded and included. Um, so if you're not sure how to do the exclusion process on your system, then I would suggest checking out the uh, installation manual or uh, what they do provide for it so you can be able to exclude the equipment correctly. Now the reason why you would want to exclude the Z-Way device is because uh, whenever you get new Z-Way devices, um, sometimes they are paired with a system uh, for testing reasons um, so to make sure that everything is working correctly. So when you do receive it, you want to exclude it so that you make sure that it's not trying to connect back to the previous system, that it's completely excluded from any devices. So that you can make sure you don't have any issues with programming it uh, to your Qualsys panel. So the steps you want to do, um, as I already showed you, you're going to press clear device and it's going to bring up the exclusion process. Okay, so now we're going to uh, put the, our Z-Wave thermostat in the exclusion process. So just tap menu, you're going to press the side button until you go to Z-Wave setup, and then you're going to press exclude. And it has been excluded from, this, from the uh, network successfully. successfully. So now we've excluded the Z-Wave thermostat uh, from the network. So the next step is to include uh, the Z-Wave uh, device to the Qualsys panel. So as you can see, we do have the uh, successful window that we have um, cleared the Z-Wave device from the network. So you're just going to tap OK. And then to include the uh, device, you're going to press Add Device and then press Include. Now it's going to put the system to the inclusion process. So it's looking for that Z-Wave device. So now what you're going to have to do is um, start the inclusion process on the Z-Wave device so it can connect to the system. All right, so now we're going to start the inclusion process on the Z-Wave device. So you tap menu, you can go to the right, so Z you see Z-Wave setup, press select, and then you're going to press set control. And then you have successfully uh, included Z-Wave device. So now we've successfully uh, included the Z-Wave device, and um, as you can see, we, we have the uh, ID right here, we have the type, which is thermostat, and then we have the name, which is thermostat as well. Um, now, if you did want to change the name, you could just tap the, down, uh, the drop down, 
and you have custom name, downstairs, hallway, upstairs, thermostat, whatever you wanted to name it. And um, right now for this video, we're just gonna keep it as thermostat. And once you have confirmed that you've changed uh, the information that you want to, you'll just press add. And uh, you can see that it has been included with the system. Now, um, if you did have other Z-Wave devices enrolled, you'll see them all in this uh, little device list. As of right now, for this video, we're only um, programming the Z-Wave thermostat. So <clears throat> once you've confirmed that all of your Z-Wave devices are included correctly, you'll just hit the house button to take it back, uh, take it back all the way to the main screen. Now, <clears throat> once you've enrolled Z-Wave devices, um, the one thing that you definitely want to do to make sure that everything is uh, communicating correctly with the system is um, do a network rediscovery. Now, work, network rediscovery basically um, it confirms that all of these ZWI devices have a good connection back to the Qualsys panel. So, to run a network rediscovery, what you'll do is just tap the gray bar at the top of the screen. You're going to go back into settings, you're going to go back to advanced settings. And then you're going to retype in either the dealer code or the installer code. You're going to go to system test, Z-Wave test, and you're going to see rediscover network. Now, if you wanted to run the network rediscovery, you'll just tap on it, and then it'll take you to this menu right here. Um, you have the Z-Wave devices on the left side, and if you wanted to run the network rediscovery, you have the button on the right side, so you'll just tap on that, and it's going to run the test. So if everything has run uh, successfully and everything is communicating successfully, it's going to tell you rediscovery ended. Um, <clears throat> if there were any um, issues with the ZWI devices or anything, it will tell you in the status uh, side of it. So at least you'll know exactly what's going on. Now, once you've done the network rediscovery, you'll just tap on the house button to take you back all the way to the main menu. And that is how you set up automation on the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. If you have any questions about the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Give yourself a great day.